New at 10, a TMJ4 exclusive. He was at the controls of the airship that burst into flames and crashed near the U.S. Open at Aaron Hills. Now the pilot is talking for the first time about the fiery crash that nearly took his life. And I could see the flames consuming the front of the airship. Trevor Thompson broke his back and suffered third degree burns in this accident. He spent time at both Freighted Hospital and Columbia St. Mary's before returning to his Georgia home. Now pilots of a bygone era would call what Thompson did coming in on a wing and a prayer. I talked to the adventurer by Skype a short while ago. When you are flying lighter than air in a thermal airship and the vessel gives way above you, you have time to think. Yes, there was time to be scared. But Trevor Thompson, a calm possessor of that intangible quality known to pilots as the right stuff, didn't panic. He got ready. I remember seeing the ground come up, tightening my shoulder straps and bracing for impact, and then diving through the passenger side and trying to stand and realize my back was broken, kind of army crawled a few feet before my ground crew arrived and was able to pull me before it exploded. The June crash at Aaron Hills wasn't Thompson's first harrowing lighter than air experience. He was forced into two other unplanned landings in recent years, one in Philly, the other on Long Island. I asked him if he would fly again and after offering a lengthy explanation. But to answer your question directly, I love to fly. I absolutely love to fly. And this Georgia aviator wasn't about to let the interview end without singing the praises of Wisconsinites. I have to give credit to uh, your city, to your first responders, to uh, uh, the attention that they gave me. I came as a visitor and I left as a citizen. And Trevor also had high praise for Freighter Hospital, where he underwent back surgery, and Columbia St. Mary's Hospital, where he was treated for burns. He also encouraged all of us to support Kathy's House, essentially a hospital guest house here in Milwaukee, where families can stay while loved ones are hospitalized.